Oh, hey there, guys. Welcome back. Uh, good morning. Today, we're going to be rocking out the Blackstone again. We're going to be cooking hash browns five different ways on the griddle. Um, I get a lot of questions on some of my social media about how I cook my hash browns. The, the easiest way to explain it is butter, patience, and medium to medium high heat. If you do those three things, your hash browns will come out perfect every time. But I decided because people cook different ways and have different things available to them, I'm gonna do it five different ways. These here are frozen. You buy them in the, obviously, you buy them in the frozen section, right? So you cook them frozen. These ones are the thawed ones. They're hash browns, simply potato. Um, you buy them over by the dairy, at least in my grocery store, it's by the dairy section. Um, but they're thawed out, ready to cook. You can get ones that are Western, they got peppers and onions in it. These are just plain ones. These are Hungry Jack dehydrated potatoes. You add warm water to them and 10 minutes, they're ready to cook. These are our favorite ways, our favorite way to cook hash browns is these ones. And then I took a russet potato and I chopped it up, diced it up, made little diced potatoes. Here, I'll show you. The key to this is cutting them up real small because if they're too big, the outside's gonna get charred or burnt before the inside is done. So if you make them small, they'll cook through faster. The wife and I had date night last night and we were up at Texas Roadhouse and you get two sides. And I ordered uh, the ribeye like I always do. It's the best steak you can buy in my opinion. But my second side, I ordered a baked potato because I had an idea. So I brought the baked potato home and I, am, I gutted out the potato with a spoon. All the insides, I, you know, I took all the insides out, so all I had was like mashed potatoes inside. I'm gonna keep the outside, because I'm gonna grill this too, guys. I'm gonna try to make a potato cake sandwich. And then I took the insides, I added sour cream, a little butter, and some cheese, and I'm gonna grill those on the Blackstone too, and see how it turns out. Um, I think these are gonna be really, really good. And uh, we're actually having tomahawk steak tonight on the Weber. So I'm gonna save these for, or at least one of them, for um, the steak tonight. So let's go out, let's get the Blackstone fired up and let's see how we can make these turn out. I think we're gonna have a good time and I think they're gonna turn out just fine. So let's go, let's hit her. Okay, so I'm running my griddle on medium to medium high heat guys that's uh that's how I'm running it just so you guys know I start with medium if I need to pump it up a little bit I do but normally medium works just fine for potatoes first step butter lots and lots of butter first ones we're gonna be cooking are the simply potatoes Second ones we're going to be cooking are the frozen. These ones came thawed, so they were ready, ready to rock and roll. These ones are frozen, and they're fro I'm going to put them on the griddle frozen. I'm going to put a couple more things of butter on there. I'm actually going to mix up these potatoes, get them all good and buttery. The next ones I'm going to cook are the russet potatoes. I'm going to want to spread these out real thin, guys. Fourth ones that I'm going to cook are the patties. fell apart a little bit. I think when we fry them, I think when we fry them, they're gonna hold together a lot nicer. I hope anyways. Uh, Hungry Jack dehydrated potatoes now. Then I'm gonna take this pota potato skin and I'm gonna fry it right here.
little seasoning salt. Now, the main thing is to let these sit until they're nice and golden brown on the other side. That's the hard part, guys. Every time you want to flip them earlier than you should. You can see, if you flip up a little bit of the edge, you can see they're starting to turn golden brown. But that's on the outside where it's the thinnest. And here where it's thicker, they're probably not ready to flip yet. So just be a little bit more patient and uh, the center will brown up real nice. And then these are browning up pretty nice too, but I'm gonna go a little bit longer on them. A little longer. It's hard to tell. This this is the pack that was thawed out already in the bag, the Simply Potatoes. These are the Hungry Jack Dehydrated Potatoes. They look very similar. These are the frozen ones. These ones are pretty big, a lot bigger, bigger flakes. So now I think those are ready to flip. I'm gonna give it a shot. A little longer, they need a little longer. Okay, let's try the flip. Let's try the flip. Those ones turned out pretty good. Let's try the frozen ones. Okay, those turned out all right. I think these are ready to stir. Let's stir those up. Yeah, those are okay. Those need it. These are going to take a little bit more cooking. They're still pretty, pretty hard in the center. That's all right. We'll thin them back out. How are these ones doing? These ones need a little longer. This top one is ready to flip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, do those look good. How do these guys look? Pretty tasty. I'm gonna let that cook a little longer out here. Actually, I'm gonna spin it just like that because I think this part of the grill is a little warmer. That one needs a little longer. I don't think it's ready. Let's try the dehydrated. Well, let's try flipping the dehydrated potatoes. Okay. Those are some darn nice looking potatoes, guys. So butter, patience, You'll have her, medium heat. I got all these burners set on medium heat all the way across the whole griddle. Let's go inside and give these bad boys a try. All right, moment of truth. So these are the Simply Potato ones. These are the frozen ones. These are the dehydrated. These are the russet that I chopped up. These are my po potato uh, cakes that I made out of uh, Texas Roadhouse um, baked potato. And here's the baked potato skin. Let's start with, let's start with these ones first. We're gonna try these first. Oh, gotta get up. Good, good, crunchy, 
good crisp to both sides. I like that, so those were good. Now I'm gonna try the frozen potatoes. Try those ones. Those got more of a more dense potato in the center of them, but still very good, very crispy on both sides. Now let's try the potato skin. Very good. I'm gonna actually have two bites of this. Whoa, so good guys, save your potato skins. You know what else you can do with that? Okay, hear me out. Cut it in half, fried egg, potato cake, cheese, top half. You got a potato, a breakfast potato Sammy. Put a little ham on there. Whoo! I think I just got my next video idea. I might try that. Okay. I'm going to try the uh, dehydrated. This is These are our favorite. I've had tons and tons of these. These are good. They're all good so far. I'd have them any of these anyway. Yep. Lots of crunch to them. Um, great texture. Very good. All right. These are more fried potatoes than hash browns, but hey, if you got a russet laying around, you can make breakfast potatoes. Okay, so they look crunchy, but they're not crunchy. They don't have the crunch that these hash browns and this has, but still very, very good. And they look very good too. All right, now for what I've been waiting for, the potato pancake, the potato hash brown, the, oh, I, what would you call this? The baked potato cake hash brown on the griddle. Here we go. Stop. Oh my goodness. Those are ridiculously good. All right. Let's go for it. We're going like this. That's a good sound. I think it does that, guys. All right, potato, potato sandwich. Okay, let's get a big old bite here. So good. You guys make some baked potatoes and try those. Wicked good. Well, so I hope this helps you guys in your hash brown endeavors. Um, if you have any questions, just ask, I'll answer. Thanks for watching. If you guys would, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thanks, bye, see ya.